Hey guys, good morning. I have rolled out of bed on a mission. But these are the things I wanna get done. I wanna get my hallway done. I'm gonna put board and batten down my hallway. I'm charging my drill because I got um, something I wanna hang up that I got from Target. And I got all my Valentine stuff taken down. I'm rearranging the living room. There's not a whole lot I can do with my living room. This area here I am redoing. I think I'm gonna get rid of the table. I like decorating it and everything, but what I wanna put here on this wall is not gonna look right with the table there. See if my mom wants it. I'm not sure if she will or not. I still love the table. I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, I just don't want it right there anymore, so. so. I picked up this brass. I think it's a plant holder. That's what I'm gonna use it for. Um, back, I don't know, last early summer maybe. I think I'm gonna hang it right here beside my hutch. And I picked up this hanging plant at Target the other day. I'm gonna hang it on it. And we'll see what it looks like. I'm treating myself to a little Starbucks today. It is Valentine's Day after all. You gotta have a treat on Valentine's Day. Guys, this is so much better than chocolates. Give me Starbucks any day. I have to run in Lowe's and pick up some items that I need for some projects. So I'm looking for some spray paint to spray paint that um, light fixture that I got at Goodwill like a month or two ago to put in my bedroom. It had that weird gold shiny rim around the top and I found this Rust-Oleum, it's vintage gold. I'm not sure if I wanna go with that or they have a Krylon hammered gold. Oh, I don't know which one to go with. I'm thinking vintage gold is the way to go. We're gonna try this. See how it turns out. I'm finally going to start my hallway project that I've been talking about forever. I'm going to do a board and batten wall. So we got to run back here to the lumber section and pick up some wood for that. So we need one by threes to make our board and battens. I already have a one by four at home for the bottom and the top. I just need the one by threes um, to make the flats, to make the battens. I don't know what they're called, but that's what I need them for. I always lay my boards flat on this metal rail here that they sit on to see if they're straight or not. If they'll lay flat, um, you know, they're not warped or anything. I also hold it up and look down straight down the board to make sure it's not curved um it really sucks when you get them home and they're not straight <laughs> this particular batch of boards at lowe's were very crooked it took me some time to find a few boards that were pretty good and straight this is a project you can do even if you don't have saws at home to cut wood they will cut it for you at lowe's all you have to do is take it back here to the wood cutting section I have three eight foot boards here and I'm gonna have them cut them for me into four feet. So I am looking for an employee to cut my wood. It's a service they provide, but there's never anybody back here to do it. It's very nice that they do that for you. I just wish they were available. <laughs> Let me go see if I can find somebody. Just picked Timmy up at dialysis. How was treatment today? Did as good as expected. They treat you all right? Oh, always treat me all right. Good. The needles don't like me very much. <laughs> You're that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. He's addicted to these Lifesavers orange mints. I don't like them at all. <laughs> He likes those when his, he gets that metal taste in his mouth. He wants one of those mints. I don't see the appeal. We're 
gonna be working on this hallway. How long have you been hearing me talk about doing something to this hallway? <laughs> I've put it off and put it off and put it off because I just couldn't make a decision on what I wanted to do to it. And finally, I just, you know, I was like, I'm just gonna do something. I'm just gonna make it happen. I decided to go with a board and batten wall for a couple of reasons. One, it's a fairly cheap project. Two, um, it's not difficult. Three, I can do it myself. And four, I don't have to cut out around any electrical outlets <laughs> or have anyone else cut out around any electrical outlets because we're not great at that. So the board and batten, I can just, you know, work around the outlets. There you go, folks. Work smarter, not harder. So this is what the hallway looks like right now. I've laid some one by fours down here in the for the trim i don't have any baseboards in the in this trailer yet but i'm gonna do one by fours and then i've got some one by threes that i had cut at lowe's and i'm gonna put them down through here now when i did my bath my bedroom board and batten wall lot early last year um what i do since i do this by myself is i just take painter's tape and i put it across the boards to line them up and to make sure they're all even before I ever nail anything in place. So let me look and see if I have any. Yes, I do, thankfully. My house is a mess. I've been doing a little cleaning as I go. This hallway is dark. I have it brightened up a little bit on my camera, but I really wish I could find a way to make it brighter in this hallway. With, usually we don't have the door shut. I have it shut because Timmy's napping in there. So I don't know, if you have any suggestions, let me know. So I just have them roughly placed up here on the wall. I haven't measured anything yet. Just trying to get an idea of how I want them. Um, got them up here with the painter's tape. And I know that I want the first one to be far enough away from the window trim and to go a little past the electrical outlet. So that's where I'm gonna start my first one. I'm gonna measure the whole entire wall and see how far apart they need to be placed. You can see I have an electrical outlet right down here. Um, so I'm going to place the first one just past that one. I had the guy at Lowe's cut all my one by threes um, down to four feet because I knew I wanted it to be a little taller. And with the one by four baseboard, that put it up to about the height that I want. And then when I add the top, I'm going to put a one by four on the top and then a one by three on that to make a little shelf, kind of like I did in my master bedroom. So it's 124 inches total from my from the frame on my window to the end of the hallway 124 inches so as you know math is hard <laughs> so I'm gonna try to figure out exactly how far apart I need to put these boards I measured all mine out and I decided to make them 18 and a half inches apart um, so I have went ahead and marked those out and taped them to the right place where they should be. So I'm going to measure everything one more time. Make sure they're level. You need to measure the top and the bottom and make sure that you, that they're level. So I got to get my level so I can check that too. One tip that I picked up from other YouTubers is when you are putting your nails into your boards to do one sort of an angle and then one the other way at sort of an angle so that they crisscross in the wall so that will keep them from coming loose like if you just put it straight in i know in my experience in drywall when i did my um bedroom board and batten wall they wanted to just come loose from the wall i don't want to use any like wood glue if you don't have a nail gun you can use wood glue i personally just prefer not to if i want to remove these i think it'll be a lot easier to remove 
um, just pulling the nails loose than to pull having to pull the glue off if that makes any sense I could be wrong but that's just how I feel about it making sure that this board is level before I nail it in. That way when I put my top piece on, um, everything will be straight and level, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna move on down to the next one. Okay, so we have that done. I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust the bottoms to make sure they're nice and straight. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that the board is level um, from the top to the bottom before I nail it in at the bottom. This may not be the best way to do this, but I just tend to throw things up there and hope that they come out right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a few nails in the middle so that it's nice and tight against the wall. On to the next one. that there is a bit of a crack along some of the boards and what I have to do is just go in with some caulk and and caulk that and it'll look seamless. Do a tiny crack there and I mean it's not bad it's just a little bit of a crack. There's a little bit more of one here along the baseboard that'll need a little more mocking. It's nice and tight there, so it's not going to come loose. My handy sidekick. <laughs> Bonnie. Huh? Are we decorating the wall? Yes. I have my 1x4 here on the top, and I'm just going to nail this into place. Um, got the bottom down here. Ignore the cracks in my door there the woods kind of separating a little bit bonnie what are you doing bonnie huh we have the boards up here and in the floor my mom's actually up here helping me now um with a few things but we just have to put a ledge in my bedroom i did a one by three ledge on the top but i don't want it to stick out that far in the hallway i don't want timmy bumping into it so i'm just gonna put a one by two up here i think that'll work a lot better and i don't think i'm gonna be setting anything on the ledge so pretty much just for looks to kind of cap it off and what we're working on right now is i had an issue and one of the nails went up and came out the top so i gotta get that off before i can put the one by two on the top So now I'm going to take this caulk, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to caulk all the seams and fill in all the holes with this. The difference in this board and this board, see the crack there? 
That one hasn't been cocked yet. And this one has. See, I already cocked this line here. And this one here, I have not. See the difference? So much cleaner line. So make sure you're caulking your projects. Instead of trying to squeeze the stuff up, I've rolled the tube up and it makes it much easier. Make sure you wipe off the tip um, between applications. That helps me get a smoother um, finish. I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just pull it along the edge. Very clean up any extra. Much better. See the seam on this one? And this one doesn't have one. It's taken me a minute to decide on if I want to paint it a different color than the top or paint it all just the alabaster like my walls already are in the hallway, kitchen, and living room. Um, I really want to paint it a different color, but if I do that, there's no separation from my hallway to my kitchen and living room. So if I paint the bottom in the hallway, I'm probably going to have to follow through and do the board and batten and the paint all the way down the wall through the kitchen and living room if that makes any sense i'll show you what i'm talking about but um yeah i already got the wood up on the wall i'm waiting for the caulk to dry got my painting shirt on and of course i left my paint out in the car and it is pouring down raining so i have to go out and get that but i hope you enjoy this process with me if there's any questions you have at the end feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll try to answer them Also, our TV went by the wayside. This was just sitting out here. Thankfully, I had another one in um, my office, so we just moved that in here. So I had the hardest time choosing a paint color for this wall. As I said, I didn't know if I should just continue the alabaster all the way down, maybe do a stain on this part. And I thought about it for a couple of days and finally decided to go with a paint color. Um, so let's take a look. What color do you think it is? So the color is agreeable beige. So I put this um, paint liner inside this bag for easier cleanup. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest. This little paint roller that I'm using worked great to paint the boards with and in between, but hindsight is 2020, and if I were to do this project again, I would have painted the whole bottom of the wall before I ever put the board and batten up, and I also would have been sure to paint this bottom baseboard white before I put it up. It would have saved me a lot of time of having to be careful and trim around the edges and where the floor is and all of that. I wouldn't have had it taped off. Um, it just would have been a lot easier. So I will remember that if I do continue this board and batten down the wall. I'll definitely do it the other way next time. All right, guys. So I got the wall painted. And let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, so it's a dark, gloomy day outside, so it's hard to see very well. Um, but here's what it looks like painted in the agreeable beige. And for now, I've put these two floral prints up here. I don't think it's what I'm gonna leave permanently, but I just wanted to use something I already had for now until I find something that I like up there better. I'm not really sure what I wanna put up there, but I'm really happy with it. I think it gives it a whole nother look and this is the piece that I picked up from Goodwill recently my mom helped me put this up yesterday it was a pain trying to get it in the wall because uh, I had to put anchors in there
print plates tie in well with the rose florals in these pictures back here. I still have to put some molding around the top up here as you can see and yeah I'm not sure this is how I'm gonna leave it. It looks like I feel like the rest of the wall looks kind of empty. Maybe I need to space them out a little more. I wish I had three of them but I don't. So that's just what it is for now. It's kind of looking a little more gray on camera than it is. It's more of a beigey color. Um, but I really like this piece that I picked up from Goodwill. It was only $6.99 and I thought about painting it. I thought about painting it white. Um, I thought about painting it this agreeable beige to tie in with that. But I really like the regular wood so for now I'm gonna leave it like this. I put this little tin of tea here and some of my spices. Um, not sure if it will stay exactly this way, but that's what we're looking at right now. So I still have to do the trim at the bottom. I thought I had some white trim paint, but I didn't. So I have to pick some up at Lowe's tomorrow and finish that out. I wasn't sure and I thought about, you know, just painting it all alabaster, but I kind of like that it breaks it up. And I'm actually now thinking about painting my pantry door here um the same color as this wall let me know in the comments what you think i still have to get a door handle for this pantry it's i don't know what my problem is <laughs> um i've got my little stool here i just set some plates on there and a little plant i did take down all of my valentine's decorations and this is what i've come up with so far um I set my plants back up there, my little tea kettle, and still have my white dishes out. Brought all my greenery back out. And then I put some floral cups back in my little jars with my sugar and flour. I picked this little plate up at Target Dollar Spot. Um, I think it was three dollars. It was either three or five, but I think it was three. And then I just used this um, top that I already had. This little fern plant is another thing I picked up at Target the other day when I went. Um, this one was five dollars. I really like that one. It's a nice size and five bucks. Can't really beat that What you doing girl? Are you sitting with your dad? Hmm? Are you just sitting and watching? Your little <laughs> Your fur friend is over here conked out Here's kitty doing what he does best sleep. He's got the lazy cat thing down pat <laughs> Irvin. 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 <laughs> he likes this treat the chin scratches. Bonnie likes belly rubs and this one likes chin scratches. I also wanted to show you guys this devotional that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for I think eleven dollars and it's so pretty. It's leather and it's uh, by Sarah Young. Jesus calling enjoying pray, enjoying peace in his presence and then it has a devotional for each day and me, Timmy and I opened it up yesterday and read the one for that day and it was crazy how spot on it was so we're going to read one of these every day um, that is our little goal I thought I'd share it with you because it's not only you know a nice devotional but it's also I thought it was just so pretty as well this was yesterday's I just thought I would share it if you guys want to read it um, you can take a screenshot one of my subscribers
subscribers sent me a package in the mail recently and I haven't gotten to put it together yet but I thought I would share it with you guys. Thank you Kathleen. It is a interchangeable toilet paper cabinet. Um, so I'm going to see if I can put it together. So here are the instructions and it comes like, I guess this is the front. I'm not great with putting things together. So let's see. And then it came with these interchangeable magnetic things that you stick on here for different seasons. That is pretty cool. We've got a pumpkin for Halloween. We've got the July, Thanksgiving. And there's an egg for Easter. There's the little screws that came with it, and I'm gonna try to assemble this. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little mobile home makeover video with me. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy these, and there will be more to come soon. My dad and I, hopefully next week, are going to work on finally framing out my kitchen window so that I can also get my um, open shelving back up in my kitchen. I also plan on doing a little makeover in my pantry, so that's what's going on. Um, I've got lots of ideas, lots of plans. Also, you still have lots of Disney videos to watch. Those are going to be coming up in the next few days. So stay tuned. Lots going on here at the Little Blessed Nest. And as always, we're so grateful to have you as part of our YouTube family. Thanks so much for subscribing, liking, commenting on our videos. We couldn't appreciate you more. See you in the next video.